What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video and another follow along stretching routine. Today we're going to be taking a look at a flexibility routine for swimmers. This kind of continues the theme of our sport specific flexibility routines. Last time we had the runner's routine which I'll link in the description down below as well as all the other follow alongs. And yeah, today we're gonna to be focusing on swimming as that was the most upvoted comment on the last video. So if you have a request for a future follow on, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let's jump straight into the routine. We're gonna start this routine with a little bit of neck stretching. I'm gonna do it in a kneeling position, but you by no means have to be kneeling. You can be sat, cross-legged, however is comfortable for you. We're gonna start, I'm gonna reach my left hand away. I'm gonna reach it as far as I can. I'm gonna keep that shoulder down. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean my head in the opposite direction until I feel a stretch. From here, we're just gonna perform 10 nods. So we're gonna look down at the ground and then we're gonna look up and away to the right hand side. Nice and simple. Breathe in, look up to the right. Breathe out, look down at the ground. I'm just gonna do 10 of these in total. Nice and slow and controlled. Nothing stressful. And then you can kind of progressively work on deepening that stretch as we go. So as I said, today's routine is gonna be on swimming specifically. However, I am not claiming to be an expert in swimming. It's not my sport. I do handstands, far from swimming. Uh, my girlfriend is a triathlete and I quizzed her on some, some specifics when it comes to the strokes and I had a little bit of research. So hopefully today's routine is designed to help you when it comes to your swimming. Right, that is it, 10 reps on that side, shake it off. Same thing on the right hand side, just move that arm out, lean the head away from it. We have to again, do some nods. So nod the head down and look up at the sky. So we're gonna work a lot of stuff on the upper body today. The upper body obviously is fundamental when it comes to swimming. We're gonna be looking at improving overhead flexibility um, so we can increase that stroke length. And we're also gonna be looking at improving a bit of the rotation in the thoracic and also trunk. So again, that should help with the efficiency when it comes to things like front crawl uh, and also with the butterfly. And then we'll be taking a little bit of a look at the lower body as well, which will hopefully help for things like the uh, breaststroke. And then also the quads tend to get quite overused in swimming. So we'll also be taking a little look at them. And that is basically a rough outline of what fun is to come. Right, we're gonna do one more here. And that is the neck pretty much warmed up. Right, so this next one I would recommend being seated. It just tends to work a little bit better. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. So I'm gonna sit, kneeling. We're gonna do hands on the head. We're gonna do some breath extenders. So I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in. I'm gonna really try and extend my spine, open my chest, look up at the sky, and breathe out. And I come back all the way to a more flex position. So breathe in. Breathe out. Just gonna do five of these. So when you do swim, oftentimes you'll notice that swimmers have a little bit of kyphosis, a little bit of this rounding of the back. This is just due to the nature of the sport. So we're gonna do a little bit of work today, just hoping to improve and open up the shoulders a bit, which again, should help with the stroke and should help combat that. So we're gonna do one more one. <clears throat> nice stretch in the morning. Shake it off. Now come forward and then we're actually gonna go and press up into a nice downward dog position. So we can just ease into this one. We don't have to do anything too intense as of yet. You can kind of walk into it, let the hands slide out a bit. Kind of feel comfortable. I'm gonna go down into an upward dog, and the same thing, you can walk the hands, you can move a little bit from side to side, just loosen things up. We're gonna do five of these, just spending five seconds in each position, trying to open the shoulders, arch the back, and then come down. So the downward dog position is a really great position because it not only you know 
is a nice way to move from uh, extension in the spine and also flexion in the shoulders. It's gonna kind of do everywhere. It does the hamstrings as well. It's just a really great like two-fold flexibility for the entire body. All right. We got one last one to do after this. Press back up. All right. And then come down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a lying or prone position, face down on the ground. I'm gonna take my hands at 90 degrees. I'm gonna to twist towards my right hand side. I'm gonna let my foot drift over. Get a nice little stretch through the chest here. Twist into it, try and squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then come back to the middle. Give me five of these. Nice little pause at the top. Should feel a nice stretch over the chest. Three. four, and five. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay in this position. We're just gonna hold it for about 10, 15 seconds. So you can get yourself comfortable. And then from here, what we're gonna do after that 10 to 15 seconds is we're gonna go slowly, try and extend the arm out overhead. And we can kind of roll the shoulder a little bit. So then we just get a little bit more of an aggressive stretch. Right now, I'm gonna go for a, for a little swim. <laughs> this is the swimming position, so I should help, again, with the pec, with the overhead reach, and loosening up the shoulders. We're just gonna hold this one for about 10, 15 seconds more. Just again, nice breathing. Diaphragmatic, nice and controlled, nothing too major. If it's a little bit too intense for you, simply rotate a little bit less. The more you rotate, the more intense the stretch becomes. Right, I'm gonna come back to center. Hands down to 90 degrees again. We're gonna to rotate to the left-hand side. Let that torso twist, squeeze the shoulder blades together and come back to the middle. Again, looking for a nice stretch over the pec. That's two. You're gonna do five of these in total. Four. And number five, so hold this one for about 20 seconds in this position. And then we're gonna do the exact same as we just did on the other side. So as we get a little bit more comfortable, we're just gonna extend the arm overhead. And again, we can twist into it. If it feels too intense, just come a little bit back to the middle. Don't twist as much. Right, so that is the first little bit. And come back up now. I'm gonna go into a kneeling position. And then what I'm gonna do here is just gonna extend the hands overhead into what would be a cat stretch. We're gonna keep walking the fingertips forward. Get a nice stretch on the lat here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of a walk out to the left hand side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that right shoulder so you should feel more of a stretch on the right hand side and we can push that shoulder into the ground and kind of lean into that shoulder. Get a nice stretch over that. We can just hold this here. If you want, you can do a little bit of PNF so you can press that right hand into the ground a bit. Breathe out, relax, go a little bit deeper. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. The more forward you reach with this as well, the more pressure you put on the shoulder so the more easy it's gonna be more you kind of come back, the less pressure is going to be on the shoulder, the little bit less of the stretch is going to be imparted. So we can again, we can walk now, we can go around to the center, a little more of a stretch, then we're going to walk to the right hand side, same thing again, drop that left shoulder, and focus a little bit more on the left hand side, and again, a little bit of a pin up, so press the elbow, or press the hand into the ground, breathe out, relax into it a little bit, If you notice maybe one side is tighter than the other, just spend a little bit more time on that side. You can pause the video, do whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep holding this one here. All 
right let's end that one oh shake it off we're gonna actually go forward a little bit onto our knees or we can take just a normal sitting position and then we're just gonna have our hands behind us just gonna walk the hands slowly backwards we're gonna keep the chest nice and tall and we're just gonna stretch out the shoulders a bit in the opposite direction so again you know as you feel more comfortable you can walk the hips forward or walk the hands back should feel a nice stretch over the bicep into the front of the shoulder maybe even into the chest and we can just relax here if you are enjoying the video if you are enjoying the follow along you know what you can do you can hit that thumbs up button and support the channel show you a like in these sort of videos right next stretch upper body is kind of coming to a close hopefully it should be feeling a little bit looser we're actually going to come forward into a uh, a nice lunge position so we're going to put our left leg forward and then here we can get a little bit of a stretch over the hip flexor so we can kind of wobble backwards and forwards a little bit here nice long position but we're actually just going to look at a little bit of trunk rotation so we're going to lean over to the side so lean over to the right hand side and then let the hips sink to the ground so this is going to give you a little bit more of a stretch in the obliques and the side of the side of the body and maybe a bit into the lower back as well and then we can just sit and breathe in this position you can roll backwards and forwards you can kind of find where the stretch is most for you and just breathe if i haven't mentioned already if you want to suggest a follow along uh, if you you know if you're into climbing, I know climbing has been suggested a lot. If there's anything else you want to look at, I will give you a specific routine. You know, it's still going to be a full body kind of deal, but it should be targeted towards your sport. Should help with your sport. Right, we're going to put that leg back. Simply just going to swap sides now. So right leg goes forward. Same thing again. We can move into a little bit of that hip flexor stretch position, and then kind of move about. Find a bit of stretch and then we're just going to transition put more weight onto that left hand side and push that hip down towards the ground again you can move about find where you get the most stretch and we just breathe And then from here, so we've held this for a little bit, again, looking for that stretch on the obliques here. All we're going to do is we're going to come into a standing pancake position. So we're going to go with a comfortable amount of straddle each side, and then we're just going to let gravity do its work, and we're just going to sink down into that stretch position. You're looking for a stretch in the hamstrings, but more specifically, the medial hamstring when it gets towards the inside of the leg if you're up here that's absolutely fine set up there if you're down here even better not really too much of an issue so i'm going to hold this position for about 20 seconds and then what we're going to do is i'm going to put my right hand down to support me i'm going to take my left hand i'm going to reach towards my right leg and i'm just going to hold if you can if you can grab up your thigh if you can grab down towards your ankle that's better i'm just going to hold this for 10 20 seconds just breathe find something that's comfortable my legs are slowly sliding out so it's slowly getting harder but that's fine come back to the middle and we're going to reach over to the other side get a nice little twist i'm just going to hold this position come back to the middle and what we can do is we can walk those feet in so I'm going to come into more of a pike position and then from here, trying to touch the ground, we're just going to try and make a nice smooth circle, reaching as far as we can to the left hand side, nice smooth circle again, reaching as far as we can to the right hand side. We're just going to do five of these backwards and forwards on each side. Again, this one doesn't matter if you're up here, if you're down here, just kind of work within whatever range of motion you have. There 
do one more on each side just for good luck because I've lost count. And what we're going to do is we're now going to come down into a bit of a kneeling position. I'm actually just going to turn sideways so you can see this. So we're going to push our knees out, but we're going to keep our feet together behind. So we're just going to loosen up a little bit of the groin area in that hip abduction, something that might help with your breaststroke kicks. Just going to sit back, sit up, push the knees out as wide as you can. Should feel a nice stretch here. Then all we're going to do come forward onto our knees. We're just going to push those hips forward. As we push them forward, try to push the knees out. Pause for a second here. And I'm just going to shift back. So nice, slow, sort of rhythmic moving the hips. We're just going to do five of these under control. So as you're doing these, as you're going back and forth, you're trying to just let those knees slide out to the side. Go a little bit wider. I'm gonna do two more of these. Really push, try and squeeze the glutes, push the hips to the ground. Last one, I'm gonna pause here. And move forward. Right, so we're gonna now finish up with just a little bit of work on the quads. You've almost made it, we're very, very close. We're gonna put our right leg out straight in front of us. The left leg, we're gonna take behind us. So it's in a, in a bent, a flex position. From here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna try and now lean back and we're gonna keep that close. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and lean ourselves over onto this foot. But what we're gonna think about doing is squeezing this glute to push the hip in this direction so we get a nice stretch over the quad and the hip flexor. If it feels a little bit too comfy, just bring the foot more under the glute. So again, I'm just gonna chill here. I'm squeezing my glute, keeping the stretch nice and active, and I'm just sort of easing back down into it. If you feel any discomfort kind of over the knee or over the ankle, just come up a bit. Take a little bit of that pressure off it. Focus more on using the glute to push the hip and get the stretch, but otherwise just sink back and chill into it. Just gonna hold this one for a little bit of time. And we're gonna bring that left leg forward, bring the right leg behind us. And then same thing, we're just gonna sit back down, sit into it, squeeze the glute, push the hip forward. Get a nice stretch over that hip flex, over this. And again, if it feels too much, just come up a little bit. Just gonna sit and breathe. Then what we're going to do, we're going to finish up with two final stretches. So I'm going to come up from this position. I'm going to come again onto my front. And then from here, we're going to do the same sort of stretch, but we're going to do opposite hand to opposite foot. So we're going to bring the left leg up, left hand goes up, right hand reaches behind. And then we can just pull here, get a little bit of a stretch. Your second hand can also come if you want to aid in the stretch. Trying to get the heel down to the glute. If you don't feel much of a stretch here, then you probably don't need to be stretching it. Just gonna hold this one for a little bit of time. If you notice that your hips start to like lift up from the ground if you're in this position, try to think about again, squeezing that glute, pressing the hip into the ground. And we can, again, let go of that leg. Right arm comes up, right leg comes up, left leg goes to grab it. Again, if that's not enough of a stretch, you can bring the other hand behind to help. And again, don't let the hips lift, 
press the hips into the ground. And just breathe. <laughs> this is, I'm starting to realize this is a little bit of an unusual position. But then again, I'm used to getting weird looks doing some stretches in the corner. Right, just gonna hold this for another 10 seconds or so. Nice deep breaths. Now let the leg drop, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Just press up into a little bit of an upward dog. And that is basically the routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this follow along routine. It's kind of a chilled, kind of something that you could do post training, something you could do in the evening. A lot of just opening up the shoulders, improving the range of motion around here to try and hopefully improve the length of your stroke as well as loosening up some of the commonly overused areas of the legs and hips as well. If you enjoyed this video, you know what you can do. You can hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you do have a suggestion for another follow along that you want to see, whether that's climbing or whatever, leave a comment in the comments section down below. If you just want to stay tuned for more follow alongs, whatever they may be, hit that subscribe button, join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But that's been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.